education is very important it allows us to learn new techniques skill set and train ourselves and career is an application of the education what we get so today we are going to discuss about education for computer technology one basic computer course that is diploma in computer application and how it is different from advanced diploma in computer application also the various existing bodies of computer application related field of education that is bachelor of computer application master of computer application post graduate diploma in computer application welcoming all viewers and subscribers to a brand new episode of this particular channel the educator daily show So friends as we know diploma in computer application is one such basic fundamental course which allows its students and candidates to learn basic stuffs about computer technology when it comes to the eligibility itself we understand that the students who have finished their 10th standard of education can opt for this diploma in computer application So today's episode is dedicated to understand what actually is diploma in computer application in a very basic manner and how it differs from advanced diploma in computer application. So that is going to be the first segment. So coming to this particular topic from the full form of DCA and ADCA as we understand one goes for basic computer application diploma course. so it is called as diploma in computer application the other is called advanced diploma in computer application so obviously it is an advanced mode of education with respect to computer technology second comes the objective of these two courses the main objective of dca is to provide an in depth knowledge in computer by testing the subjects like microsoft tools operating system aspects of internet and relevant topics but when it comes to adca it is an advanced diploma and it offers an advanced knowledge of computers to students for making them eligible for having a better mastery over the subject by teaching advanced topic like rdbms and data management etc so obviously you will be having a question what is rdbms which goes for a relational database management system or just called as rdb is a common type of database that stores data in tables so it can be used in relation to other stored data sets so it's something related to computer technology field if you are really interested to know what it is we can do a separate episode on that particular topic when it comes to the subjects with respect to these two courses obviously nationwide with respect to the institution with respect to the university with respect to college curriculum it will change but on a basic manner we can see introduction to computer and internet computer organizations and operating systems ms word ms excel ms powerpoint meaning ms office almost all the subjects are theory oriented but when it comes to advanced diploma in computer application it is more of practical oriented here also you study microsoft tools but you study extra tally erp systems typing page maker rdbms and data management related subjects also now now the next topic which is the average annual fees how much a student has to pay 5000 to 30000 indian rupees almost a package expense which is going for this particular course but when it comes to advanced diploma in computer application it starts from same 5000 bar and reaches up to 40000 indian rupees per year the duration of the course is the next main differentiating factor when it comes to diploma in computer application and advanced diploma in computer application obviously diploma in computer application is 6 months or maximum 12 month course but advanced diploma in computer application is 12 months or 1 year course to be specific now it comes to eligibility 
tenth and plus two qualified students can go for diploma in computer application. But when it comes to advanced diploma in computer application, only higher secondary educated qualified that is plus two student that is PUC completed or PDC completed students can only offer it. Next topic is the top highlighted colleges who are offering diploma in computer application course university of calcutta aligarh muslim university punjab university lovely professional university almost all these are very highlighted names and brand for diploma in computer application when it comes to advanced diploma in computer application Thakur Polytechnic, Institute of Computer Study, Vasanta College for Women, Department of Electronics and Accreditation Computer Classes will be on the headlines. How much salary a student earns after completing diploma in computer application or advanced diploma in computer application? You should bear in mind that it starts from 2 lakh per annum to 5 lakh per annum. This is the industry market standard. So those students or aspirants who have completed their DCA and not able to get a salary up to 2 lakh per annum, they should aspire for it, they should work for it, they should get that package with respect to their potential and the quality of education and the work. And when it comes to advanced diploma in computer application, it starts from 2.56 lakhs per annum up to 7 lakhs per annum. Meaning there is a 2 lakhs per annum extra that students or the candidates or the aspirants who have completed ADCA is earning. Now the next segment is understanding diploma in computer application with context of advanced diploma of computer application, bachelor of computer application, master of computer application and postgraduate diploma in computer application. Because all these are very specific and very professional oriented courses. With respect to the first factor which is the duration as we already understood DCA or diploma in computer application is 6 to 12 months course but advanced diploma in computer application is 12 months or one year course. BCA is three years undergraduate bachelor course and master of computer application is three or two years of course. Who is going to have a three years MCA. Those students who not studied BCA will go for three years or computer related course. For them it will be three years. For others it will be two years of MCA. Postgraduate diploma in computer application PGDCA it is going to be two years. Obviously it is a master diploma program. With respect to the nature of the course DCA, ADCA and PGDCA all of them are diploma courses but BCA and MCA are graduation level courses. Of that, BCA is an undergraduate course and MCA is a postgraduate course. Now with respect to the eligibility, who is eligible to study these programs? As obviously DCA can be studied by a 10th or 12th standard student and ADCA by 12th standard student. And there is no such demand that advanced diploma computer application can be studied only by diploma in computer application students. Those students who are interested to enroll for ADCA after their 12th can readily do so. And with respect to BCA, obviously 12th is the minimum criteria or plus 2. And for MCA, you should have undergraduation, uh, most preferably BCA or computer related undergraduation course. And for PGDCA, you should have undergraduation course as well. And next is with respect to the provider who is providing these courses. Diploma in computer application, advanced diploma in computer application and postgraduate diploma in computer application. All the three are diploma courses. So it can be provided by institutions, private or from the government side. Or it can be done through colleges also. But BCA and MCA has to be through college which is approved by University Grant Commission UGC. So all the rules and regulations of UGC will be applicable for BCA and MCA and also All India Council for Technical Education AICTE is also coming to picture when we talk about BCA and MCA. Now the next differentiating parameter is admission procedure. As we already understood DCA, ADCA are 
somewhat basic education platforms for computer technology. So it can be through merit based or it can be direct admission also. But when it comes to uh, BCA and MCA and even PGDCA merit plus even entrance examination that can be done through nationwide, statewide or even institution wise also can be done. Last uh, differentiating factor is the level of education or the level of qualification you are going to achieve through these courses. For DCA obviously it is a basic fundamental computer technology related course. So it is considered as a basic diploma course. ADCA is somewhat advanced so it is big brother of diploma in computer application DCA. So it is adding another six months of education. So when comparing DCA and ADCA obviously one should go for ADCA which is going further from DCA. After that we come across professional courses which is considered to be very much specific to computer technology and that equips you to achieve much of your career advancement in computer technology which is going to be your bachelor of computer application bca master of computer application mca and postgraduate diploma in computer application pgdca so friends this is a particular episode and for this channel this is going to be the first video in which we already understood what is diploma in computer application and how it is varying or differentiating itself from advanced diploma in computer application. And these two courses, how and where it stands when it compared against Bachelor of Computer Application, Master of Computer Application and Postgraduate Diploma in Computer Application. For sure, if any of you is having any doubt, please feel free to put on the comment box and also the description of this particular episode is already marked in the description box. If you are not subscribed this channel, please consider subscribing it and also share with your friends, family and let's make the Educator Daily Show a great success for your education and career prospects.